वेलकम एवरीवन वी आर हेयर फॉर डिस्कसिंग सॉलिड एंगल इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी डिस्कस्ड और डिराइव्ड सॉलिड एंगल फ्रॉम द वेरियस एस्पेक्ट एंड वी हैव गॉट डिफरेंट फार्मूला फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग सॉलिड एंगल फॉर डिफरेंट position of surface uh, today we would like to derive an equation or a formula uh, from where uh, we will be able to find out the solid angle and this formula is in a differential form so today we would like to discuss solid angle in its differential form in our previous video uh, we got the result for different uh, position of surface and this is like such suppose uh, it is a surface whose direction is acting on this uh, normal line Uh, that is uh, the direction of this surface uh, acting on this line, and this surface is A. Now there is a point O, uh, this is uh, a looking point or being bent uh, to calculate and the solid angle for this surface. Then we connect on the periphery point with the point O, and we have got uh, like such a cone, and this. Uh, Solid angle uh, was calculated by the formula omega equal a upon r square, where r is the distance from O to this point, or r is the radius of a square. Uh, by this way, we calculated the solid angle. And, and the another case was like that. Like that. Suppose this surface is direction are acting. Uh, in different lines, uh, in this line acting the surface. Uh, in this case, the position vector of the point uh, central point O dash and the direction of surface are uh, along same line. But now, if we would like to uh, calculate the solid angle for this surface, this, let's, this is B, B point and this is central point O dash. So we say that. And the uh, uh, position vector of this point uh, uh, works in this direction. So the uh, normal or direction of the surface and the position vector are not acting uh, same line. In that case, uh, we will have to uh, measure uh, the uh, projection of this surface along this direction or the component of this surface along this direction by a since. This angle is theta, a cos theta. So, for measuring the solid angle, uh, we will have to consider this surface. Uh, this surface is some like such. So, the uh, solid angle omega will be calculated by another formula, which was a cos theta over a square. So this is r. So this was another formula, and we. Discuss another formula uh, for the relation between plane and plane angle and the uh, solid angle. Uh, there, uh, the system was such uh, that this is a sphere and this is a cone. Uh, vertex is O. Uh, here, this cone uh, <coughs> creates a solid angle at the center of the sphere. Which is denoted by also omega, and in that case, actually uh, there was a uh, curved surface or a uh, like a cap on the surface of the sphere. In that case, at first we calculated uh, this area, then uh, we calculated the uh, solid angle, and in that case we uh, got a formula or a relation. Uh, between the solid angle omega and there was a 
there was a plane angle which is phi uh, this is phi and the anchor angle was omega the formula was uh, <coughs> twice pi 1 minus cosine phi where uh, omega is uh, solid angle and phi is plane angle or uh, half angle of this cone in these three various methods we calculated solid angle from different aspects today uh, we are going to uh, calculate the same thing that is solid angle in differential form so let's go to discuss with such solid angle Uh, for this, if we uh, memorize uh, geographical coordinate system and the spherical coordinate system, then this will help us uh, to find out the solid angle in differential. Uh, uh, let L is a sphere or like a globe. Our center is denoted by C, and uh, from the center to north pole, we consider actually z axis, and from center to east direction, we consider actually y axis, and from center, uh, we uh, consider another line which is x axis. And uh, we know that uh, for the <coughs> geographical coordinate or spherical coordinate, we, coordinate, we consider a, a line or imagine a line from north pole to south pole, which is called prime meridian. The south pole, this is north, north, and this is south pole. This is east direction, and this is west direction. And also, they are imagine a line uh, from east to west. From east to west, there is a line which is called equator. It is called equator. And this equator and uh, meridian line intersecting at a point which is going to be origin O. Our center is C. Now, uh, if we take a differential surface or uh, infinitesimal surface which is very small surface on the sphere then we have to uh, uh, calculate or find out a formula for finding uh, solid angle of for this small surface uh, let let d a be the Infinitesimal, infinitesimal surface on sphere, and this is also called very small quantity. And it makes uh, solid angle, solid angle at the center of the sphere, center of the sphere C is denoted by D omega. Since this is differential of very small quantity, this the quantity will be given by sets of dA and d omega. Then, uh, as per definition of solid angle, we can say that uh, the solid angle will be that is d omega will be area of a distance. Let the distance from the center of the sphere uh, to the uh, respective area. Uh, center point of the respective area is denoted by r then solid angle will be d omega equal d a over r square stay there now for here uh, actually the surface is very small quantity 
but we, we have given a big picture. Uh, we, we have given this picture only for uh, easier understanding. That is, uh, we, we can say that the area in magnified form. Mm -hmm. This picture is magnified form of this small area. Nothing but this. this. So we are in magnified form of small area. Uh, let us uh, to uh, prime to meridian line from north pole to south pole are drawn here. Let us search. This is a meridian line. This is also a meridian line from north pole to south pole. And we consider two uh, latitudes. Two latitudes on the surface like such. Now, if we consider this small area for finding out the respective uh, solar angle, then now we have to uh, first find out the area of this region. And this region is a curved surface. Uh, let this point is P. And the uh, radius of the surface or radial distance of the P is denoted by R, which makes an angle with the z axis in right direction or proper direction, which is called theta. Here, uh, in geographical coordinate system or spherical coordinate system, this theta is called actually a uh, polar angle or a genet angle, uh, or it is also called latitude. Now, uh, for finding the area of this region, we move from P to this point and let this point is Q. Then, uh, we have got in R there. And if we join center with the point Q, then there will be an angle which is in the right DP. Therefore, uh, here we have got uh, like such a figure. This is R, this is also R, these are radius, and this angle is Jupiter. Then, what will be the length of this arc? Uh, we know that the end length, uh, arc length is equal to arc theta. Since the, the radius is R and the angle is theta, d theta then the a length of this arc will be r theta. So here we have here we have arc length arc length pq equal to r theta. So it is our theta. Now uh, if we and draw a perpendicular from this point to this central thing, that is the uh, projection of OP will be like such. The projection of, of CP on the central plane will be CP prime. We can extend this with this intersecting point. And we know that uh, this angle is called azimuthal angle, which is denoted by phi. And it is also uh, the longitude of the point P. And this theta is a full latitude of the point P. Now, uh, here, the projection of R on the uh, positive z-axis will be R cos theta. Projection of R on this direction will be R cos theta. And since this line, this CP dash line is perpendicular uh, to uh, the z axis, then the projection of R along this line will be R sin theta. This is R cos theta, this will be R sin theta. So we can say that here CP dash equal to R sin theta. Here CP dash equal to R sin theta. Now, if we uh, 
create if we'd like to create this area then we have to uh, move from key point to this point that this point is r then uh, if we draw uh, pro uh, perpendicular from the point r on, on this central plane or we draw a projection from r so we will get this point whose azimuthal angle will be calculated by joining this two points where this point is r prime and this angle is b prime so the azimuthal angle of the point uh, so or longitude of the point r will be phi plus d phi so here clearly you see that uh, a r has been made by this procedure so this path is uh, uh, denoted by p dash r dash p dash r dash is an r and we can also extend this point with the point so here also we have got a figure like such from c uh, and this two are actually same as because uh, this length and this length are very small quantity. Although here we see that these two lengths are not same, but actually for a small area, this length, this length will be same. So we have got a, also an arc, which is P dash R dash. Here we have angle D phi. This angle is D phi, and this a distance is r sin theta so we can say that this arc length is equal to this arc length is equal to r sin theta d phi and uh, follow their students here this arc length actually equal to this arc length also equal to this arc length that is uh, arc length P dash Q dash and arc length of this and the arc length QR, all these three are same. So we have here also arc length, arc length QR equal to this R sin theta, R sin theta D phi. We have got two arc length, one is PQ one is PQ and other is Q1 and our required area is PQ left as PQRS our required area is PQRS so actually here we have to measure the area of this uh, infinitesimal surface PQRS as because this is very small quantity or very small surface then we can consider PQ and QR uh, uh, a straight line and uh, PQRS will be like such a rectangle. So we can say that the area of this infinitesimal area DA will be the nothing but product of this two amount PQ and QR. Therefore, therefore area, area DA will be the PQ times Q1. And we have seen here if we multiply these two quantities, then we have got R square sin theta, D theta, and D theta. So our uh, required surface area uh, will be denoted by R square sin theta, D theta, D theta. So now we can easily calculate. The required solar angle from here. We know that solar angle is d phi equal to d a over r square. Therefore, therefore, solid angle, solid angle d phi will be d a over r square. We have d a equal to r square sin theta d theta d phi and our r square therefore the solid angle will be d over r square r square r square will be constant and theta d theta d theta
So dear students, we have got an another formula for finding out uh, solid angle in this different shape form, which is expressed by d omega equal to sin theta and d theta d phi. Sin theta d theta d phi. So we have a new formula for finding out solid angle is d omega equal therefore solid angle in differential form d omega equal sin theta d theta d phi i again repeat that uh, theta is the polar angle for polar distance and phi is the azimuthal angle for geographical position. Now, if we would like to find out the total solid angle for the entire surface, then uh, we have to take the help of integration. And here we have to uh, take uh, the uh, help of double integration. That is, we know that uh, for surface integral, from that process, double integration. Uh, if we measure the total angle, so the total solid angle will be will be by integration. By integrating this relation, we can get total solid angle. So for total solid angle, we will have to integrate d omega from the limit 0 to omega. And uh, since there are two parameters, uh, two variables, sorry, two variables, theta and phi. So we have to integrate this uh, uh, two times. Okay. Uh, one time for uh, with respect to theta and the other time we uh, calculate it with respect to phi. Now we have to integrate uh, this. Uh, and theta d theta d phi. So what is the uh, what will be the limit for theta and phi? We see here uh, this theta uh, lies between zero degree to one degree. So now that from north to south pole we have uh, one eighty degree uh, latitude. And from east to west, uh, we have uh, the longitude, and we have that the longitude lies between 0 to 360. That is, if we make theta from this direction to uh, this level, which is pi, that is, theta lies between 0 and pi. So, for theta, our limit is 0 to pi. And now, if we uh, if we go anticlockwise from this position, then we have got this degree, that is twice two. Then the entire surface will be theta. If we proceed in this mechanism uh, along this line, we have theta equal to zero to pi. That is theta equal to zero to pi. And if we rotate this half circle. If we rotate this half circle about this axis, then we have got entire surface, and in that case, our angle will be twice pi. It is pi equal to zero to twice pi. So for the limit of pi, zero to twice pi. Now we can easily calculate this integration for finding out the total solid angle. So uh, we know the integer, process of integration here. Omega was maybe to be zero to omega, and uh, at first we will consider uh, the integration with respect to theta. So, uh, uh, with respect to theta, the integration of phi theta will be minus cos theta, and the uh, limit will be zero to 
I. Then our this result we have to take another integration for P5 for phi zero to twice phi. So zero to twice phi uh, has minus cos phi minus minus plus cos zero d phi. So we have zero to twice phi. We know that cosine one is equal to minus one. So that we have twice d phi. And the integration of twice d phi will be twice i. And the limit will be zero to twice. So we have got therefore the total solid angle here omega minus zero from upper limit minus line, which is omega equal to omega equal twice pi two into twice pi minus three to zero is four pi scaling. So we have got the two results in the depth. The total solid angle is actually four pi scale time. And from that, we have also got the total angle as four pi scale time. So, dear student, here um, uh, we have got another formula for calculating uh, solid angle uh, in its differential form, which is d omega equal <coughs> sin theta d theta theta. And from this relation, we have successfully uh, got the total solid angle to 4 pi square area. So, dear student, this was my today's discussion from uh, another aspect of the solid angle. Uh, thank you very much for staying with me.